Mm -hmm. I'm a photographer myself. This happens every once in a while. It was to a point where even John Boy commented on it with a with a little Twitter. I don't think he did a full video on it. What did he say? Well, it was just the way the camera person followed the ball. <laughs> you thought the ball was going to land on Jupiter. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, I did. And then I it ended up far away. it ended up being really not even that deep in the outfield. It was just a mistake. What, it happened. Who, who did that the other day? That the announcer? Goes, oh, it's way back, and we have a oh, it oh, he catches it. It happens. <laughs> but that's the easiest way to catch if an announcer's calling the game off the television or if he's watching the game. Ooh. I will say, though, wow. even there are times when Goldie hits the ball, just based on what we've seen so much this year. If he, if it seems like he squared it up and it's in the air, you're probably thinking it has a chance to go. And to be fair, his home runs keep climbing yeah. as they go. I mean, he hits the ball so high. Here was his three-run bomb. Let's go. Oh. In the air out to deep left. Look at how high he hit that. Holy smokes. And a home run. Goldie, a two-run shot. That's as high as you will ever see a ball hit. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. Wow. 29 Beautiful. home runs for Goldie. Beautiful. What a year. Gosh. Danny Mack, Valley Sports Midwest on the call. Danny Mac and uh, Jimmy Ballgame, they had a very interesting conversation. Now, they have a lot of them, but I was into the whole Randall Gritchick shorts talk. And the more I looked at it— I bet it, you were. Well, no, I'm thinking, and, and Jimmy says at the end, I'm surprised Major League Baseball allows that. And then when I'm looking at it, I agree. I mean, his, his, pants, his pants are rolled up above the knee. They essentially look like shorts. But he's got socks on. Well, he's got you those want me to long. Find out about it? I, it was, he's got those long, almost like the Under Armour. <clears throat> yeah. Leggings. So I mean, what it is, about it? It is an odd look. Have you ever seen a? And we love Gritchy. Have Ooh. you ever seen a baseball player that rolls his pants up so high that it's above the knee? He needed to be a little less aerodynamic on the ball that Arnado snagged over at third base and hauled over at first before Goldschmidt tapped him right on the yeah. old gooch. I thought he was going to get that mug. That, that was a, an awesome play by Arenado. That's my boy right there. The tag was almost as good. I as, know. As yeah. Arenado, and, he, and he did get him right in the gift basket. <laughs> yeah, well. So is there a problem with it, Charlie? Like, is it too, like, uh, is he running faster now? Or is there like a, why does he do it? If you, oh, so Jimmy Ballgame was basically talking about how back in the day, if they wanted to do the high sock Sunday, and if you wanted to wear your, your old school red sanitary socks, mm -hmm. that Bill DeWitt essentially made it known that he did not like that. Okay. That if you were not, if you were going to basically wear your pants up, you had to wear the old school Cardinal socks with the stripes that, that the Cardinals had worn for 100 years. Yeah. That's what Jimmy Ballgame said on the broadcast. Okay. And all these different sports leagues do have rules. About, that's why you can't have your jersey untucked. Like yeah. Major League Baseball doesn't want people on the field with their jersey untucked. There's different rules. You know this with the NHL. There's rules about what you're allowed to wear mm -hmm. and how you're allowed to wear stuff. Uh, and, and teams have their own. Yes, correct. They do. Yep. But Jimmy Ballgame was saying he's surprised that Major League Baseball allows Gritchick to wear his pants oh, okay. rolled up so much that they're above the knee, and they, they look like shorts, essentially. Okay, I'm getting, I I'm getting to the bottom of it today. I I'm going to go talk to Gritch and say, did you get, have to get permission? Why do you do it? Can Seth, you roll them down a little? Can I see a picture of this? I think that's I'm interesting. Curious. And he's got the glasses. Go, look, man. If I'm, uh, you know, if I'm Randall Gritchick, I want to stick out. It's you the know? same way you always you roll up your sweatpants, and people think you're wearing capri pants. Somebody said that at the block, but it's for comfort. Oh, you that's feel more right. They did make fun of me. Oh God! <laughs> no, I only did that because I wanted to wear all black because you know, a, I'm a Satan worshiper, and b, I sweat. So I had them, and I always like I get in the habit of like talking them up, and I forget I'm doing it. And they look goofy. Then I get comments like that, and it rattles me. I want to say this about Gritchick, because he's one of my – to me, there's like a bunch of guys been here that, you know, are awesome guys. He's yep. one of them, right? So, Fox, we have a guy who's not who's not doing well. Yeah. Sick. Young guy. And he was always a Gritchick guy. Loves Gritchick. And uh, someone's putting together a video for him where they're singing parts of a baseball song, uh, and we're putting – staffers, players yeah. in this, right? Putting it together. I asked Gritch if he would sing, and he, he sang like a whole verse. Really? With, I, players don't like doing stuff where they don't know what it's for. Can it be used against them to make it look silly? 
he's an awesome kid. So awesome he's just like kid. he didn't even ask. It's like, yeah, I'll do that for you. He, well, he, knew, cool. he remembered this guy, oh, okay. and he was like, you, you better believe I'll do it. Yeah, that's cool. I like him. I like Randall Gritchick, who uh, a couple other guys I do like. Kids was pumped up into that game, by the way. That was nice to see him. He could work the walk. Work the walk. He worked the walk. Let's go. He worked the walk. I mean, God dang, did he work that walk. Can we, can we though, have a, have a little serious discussion for oh, a second? What is it on? Uh-oh. I just think that last night is an example of of maybe – some of the cracks in the Cardinals' armor. I mean, if you blow a lead like they did late in the game against, uh, let's say, the Brewers or well, – I don't even know if I'd throw the Brewers in there, but right now I would say the Dodgers and the Mets and the Braves. Yeah. I don't know if you come back and win a game like that. I mean, the the, the Rockies know how to lose a game. That's for damn sure. My God. <laughs> and uh, that Tough was a bit there. of – And I That's think fair. one of the one of the issues is – how Ollie's going to sort of maneuver his bullpen because you're already starting. I mean, yesterday he had to pretty much use the full arsenal. So what's he got available today? Like, that'll be tough. And if you're going to Packy Naughton in high leverage situations, you can't be letting him get away with, let's just say, uh, crotch high sliders that don't have a whole lot of That's tilt true. to them. I, I, I think what you're saying fair. is fair. To me, yep. you know, yep, the, yep. taking out Albert, who's arguably one of their hottest hitters, out when they did, kind of left the cupboard bare later for if the lead got relinquished and you need offense. Um, I like I like Molina taking at bats over Kiz in key situations. Wow, based, based on his history. Wow, you know, Whoa. like it, so. I I think it leaves Whew. them. And, and then once you use Kiz, you can't pinch hit again because you don't have a like. I think there were a lot of changes early that kind of compromised what they could do offensively. Packy at home had been really good. Like his ERA was like next to nothing at home. I like the fact that he challenges guys. I agree, he, he's not your ideal guy in a high leverage situation. But they got Cabby for tonight, and you know there's there's other guy like Palent, that Palante, Palante, you know, is a guy who I think has shown he can pitch in big situations. He's been good as a starter. They have guys, but I agree. They, when they get stretched in, you're you're wondering where the next out is coming. Is that fair? Yeah, and and the Cardinals have been um, they've been boosted a little bit with these three run bombs that they've hit late in the game, which gives you some breathing room. And even when say on Sunday was it that Helsley allowed the home run in the ninth inning and didn't have any impact, and three run home runs give you such a cushion that's you know those those seal the game for you and they lessen some of those final six out stress that that your bullpen's going to go through. So I mean I'm just seeing some issues l- last night. I can see how in the weeks past that they've lost games, I got you can sort of see where their faults lie. So who do you consider dependable uh for the bullpen? Like who are the guys you're like, "Okay, give me him, him." Who are the who are the guys where you're not stressed out putting in at this point? I would say I mean, I definitely Helsley, obviously. Yeah. Palante, uh, I would even still throw Gio in there, even though he was good last night. Had that sharp slider. That's the difference. Sharp yeah, slider. I, I think it's very obvious that if <laughs> Gio's not good, then this team's net not going very far. I mean, he is gonna have to really find his groove. And then uh, if Cabrera's good, he's always usually good. But man, when he's bad, he's not very good. Hicks was good last night. Hicks was, <laughs> Hicks has been really good in his last two. The key with Hicks is throwing strikes and getting some swings and misses. He's been doing that. See, I, I, I understand. I think that's fair. Of you know, a fair concern. But I look at other teams. Like, there are not a ton of teams who have three or four guys that you're real comfortable bringing in out of the bullpen. Fair. You know, like, a, a, and especially someone like Helsley. You're right. He gave up a home run and his ERA went up to zero point nine two. You know, like he's been unbelievable. And I, so I do think they have good options, but yeah, I, I think what you're saying is on, is on point. How about this? This is interesting. I think I was looking up reliever ERA in the National League. The top seven teams are the seven teams battling for playoff spots in the National League. It goes best ERA: Dodgers, then Braves, Mets, Padres, Cardinals are fifth, Phillies sixth, Brewers seventh. Well, there that you shows go. you though how important. Yeah. Your bullpen is obviously the top seven bullpen ERAs in the National League are these seven teams battling for playoff spots. 
Chuckles, uh, Hunter Pence played almost his entire career with socks up like that, Joe Boo. Yeah, they were pretty high up. I don't mind that, man. Be different. They let you do it. Do it. Who's this chick that Carlos Danger keeps uh, sending in? Who is that? I don't know. I, it looks I like that you would know. It looks like it's Jared Kushner's face on Ivanka's, on Ivanka's oh. body. Oh, is he that... also he sent it. I, I opened up the text line earlier. He sent That's it at three good. in the morning. Yeah, a couple. They do that sometimes. Three in the morning. Three in the morning. I don't know what you're doing. At three listen. in the morning, do you ever do anything that you're like, "Ooh, I want to text us into the show"? Oh God, three in the morning. Look at your phone the next day. Like, oh God, what did I do? What did I do? Not That's anymore. when it's, it's good back. to leave your phone at home. Just, <laughs> exactly. Charlie left his phone. That's god awful. Seth, I would have turned around. Seth, I'm what, sorry. What's your number one issue with the car? What's your yeah. number one concern? Is that all right? I mean, the, yeah. The, is that, is that a fair? Seth, well, come. he was just m- m- mentioning your phone. Seth, what is yeah, your stick, stick come on, to the top of my phone? Seth, what is uh, your your number one concern yeah. with the card? What is, share on, with us? Uh, aside from Falante, our uh, middle relievers, I think is the biggest concern. Stratton's looked all right. Uh, I, you know, he could be a little better, but I, I really thought Hicks was going to do better as well, especially when he was pitching four or five innings. I thought it'd be a little more underwhelming. For him to pitch, you know, an inning in the third or something. I don't know. He's just been kind of shaky lately. Not I mean, lately. Shaky last, two have, last two have been really good. Like, last night was good. He gave up two runs. Or didn't he give up two runs, though? They didn't They didn't count on his. I mean, he came in with the bases loaded. Here, let's look. I thought it, I thought he gave he up two runs. He pitched well last night. I'd take what Hicks did last night any day of the week. Mitchie Yeah, you're right. You're I right. just think he needs yeah, to be, go. He just needs to be a little Seth, better. There you go. Well, once we get to Gio and Helsley... Then we're then we're rolling. No offense, head. Packy let them in, but they were Hicks's runners, so they go on his account. Well, and like you said, Packy's good at home, not so much on the road. But I don't know that that's our biggest concern is because. But we have done a lot better. We were playing catch up ball a lot in the midst of the season, and I think we're doing a lot better with that. And I'm I, like I said, I've said this before. I know as bad as everybody wanted Juan Soto, I'm really glad that Mo addressed the back end of our rotation. Quintana and uh, Montgomery have been awesome. More important, that's a that's a that's a good good take there. It's Seth. a very mature God point. Seth. Fat Tony Johnson. Cabrera's usually good, but when he's bad, he's not good. Wow, hot take, Nate. Fat Tony. <laughs> I think what Nate said is is fair. Yeah, but he bought he built. There it are up times like, Cabrera looks in and he looks untouchable, and there's other times <clears throat> he just can't find the strike zone, and then he has to come in with a pitch, and then he gets hit around. Yeah, I get that, but he, he in, built it up like he's going to throw a hot take out, and it was kind of like, oh, in the way lukewarm. In not the way that you <laughs> saw the, the the text, it sounds like I I didn't emphasize not good. So if you if you can hear what I say, then you understand. I put an exclamation point on not good, and meaning he that he gives it. up multiple runs, yeah. which is atrocious. Yeah, Fat Tony, I know that hearing is hard <laughs> for you. How strong you want to come at a guy? Real strong, real strong. Stuffing those Oreos in oh, your face, Mitchy Chapman. Any update on the woke one, Flaherty? He pitched well. <laughs> the woke, the woke three innings, one. three innings, scoreless <laughs> baseball. Then Sorry. two hits, uh, four strikeouts. What did he pitch? 53 pitches of memory serves, which was right at the target. Uh, that's good because that's his second rehab outing. His first was not good numbers-wise. And, you know, a lot of times you're like, oh, well, the numbers weren't good, but he was healthy. That's the main thing, which is probably true, but that's not what fans want to hear. Yeah. So, And it was Springfield, mind you. It wasn't Memphis. It was Springfield. So it wasn't he wasn't facing the best. But when a guy goes three scoreless on a rehab, I don't care where it is, yeah. you feel good about it. Yep. And more yeah. importantly, pump in 97. Ooh. Yeah. So you look at his arm and say, pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. What, Nate? You I got that thought, smirk. I thought that Jim, Jimmy, that was some of your best work last night. After the big tease, the big television tease by Danny Mac. Mm-hmm. And you came back, and you aced right, I the report. It out. I knocked it what, out. What do you mean? What do you mean? Well, they went right to him out of the commercial break, and Jimmy, over the video on tape, was able to sort of give the report on Flaherty last night before throwing it back to the booth. And it was but just what's so very from well. That? No, it was just a well. It was, it was well. Tight. It was tight. It was. You hit it. What's the difference though? Didn't you? Don't you? And you had that? a nice blazer. Is he on just last kissing night. your ass? Is he kissing your ass? Sounds like no. I think he was mocking <laughs> the no. whole. What the, oh, oh, no? Oh, mocking you? No, not in a bad way. No. But the, I mean, Danny like played it up like was the thing was we had the video. Yeah. Right. He got done early, but they wanted to hold off mentioning it until 
we were able to present it with the with the video. Yeah. So then Danny gave it a big tease, and by then everyone on social media knew what Flaherty's numbers were. But you got to see it. Do you want to hear yeah. from Flaherty after yes. his rehab yesterday? This yes. yes. There's a couple things that, that that went on through the through the rehab process last time that as I got. As the intensity started to increase, my arm wasn't holding up, and you know, hopefully we've we fixed that. And just the way that my arm reacts to certain things, um, you know, it's felt good. It's bounced back better than it has before. You know, it, it felt great the last time, but then something changed when I when I got to major league level. So, you know, today felt really good. Felt even better than the last time I had been here. You know, more in sync, more on time. Um, yeah, it, it's just you know, we want to want things to hold up as we keep going forward. He sounds positive. My left ear enjoyed that. My left ear enjoyed my, yeah, it was my right. I don't know why that was, it was only my right ear. It was my right ear. Listen. He's whispering in your ear. <laughs> anyone who looks at it fairly, Hello. anyone who looks at it fairly would good. say, Jack Flaherty healthy, returning to the Cardinals is a great thing. But there are two parts to this. One, last time, it seemed like Jack was the one pressing it, but he went too fast, came back, and he wasn't ready. So folks already saw that chapter. The other thing is, which I think is ridiculous, because any time I post a tweet about Flaherty, all you do is get the hate because of this saying? guy's political. What are views. they saying? What are they saying? Like just like maybe maybe he should focus on pitching and instead of being an activist, that kind of stuff. I I don't see a lot of pure At hate on my Twitter Nate feed because it's more of a nice friendly feed, right? <laughs> but there's a there's a ton of that on there. I hope people don't. This guy has views. You might not agree. That's oh, fine. Yep. But that doesn't make him a bad person. Right. And doesn't mean if you're a Cardinal fan, you can't root for him. There you go. You're right, Jimmy. Disagree. Oh, Disagree. That's why he's hurt. It is. His thumbs hurt. Listen, when I post something on YouTube about Jack Flaherty, I get comments that say the reason he's hurt is because of his views. <laughs> Everyone knows yeah, yeah, that yeah. if you have certain political views, you're more likely to injure your shoulder. Yeah, because that's a, that's a, when you're that's tweeting all the time, point, I don't even know why I have to say it. You got blisters on your thumb, and you know in baseball, if you get a blister, you might not be able to play. So it does hinder you. That's a, a hockey guy. See, that's a big tough hockey guy. Well, it's not. My, wait, wait, is that fake? Am I, am I lying about that? You are, but if am a I pitcher lying? has a festering blister on their index finger, they can't spin it. They can't throw the baseball. Like but you're Rich still Hill, not Rich playing Hill's because entire season. I know. And Aaron Sanchez. I remember there was a whole season. Those those guys went out there. Those those blisters must have been with festering oh, pus because oh, every I time bet. they went out there they couldn't that's throw hard, the ball. That's hardcore. You're right. It's hardcore. But I'll still write on what I said. You are. Thank you. And it underscores the fact that uh, hockey is uh, a savage sport played by uh, it's by pagans. It's different. Where in baseball it's really a finesse sport about not only athleticism mm -hmm. but finely tuned machines. The best athletes. It's artistic. Sure. It's like dancing. Yeah. It's performative yeah. dance. By the way, though. <laughs> Bringing up Flaherty coming back and pitching wise, I know a lot of people lately have been talking about the playoff format, and I do think it's worth mentioning again about how you don't have typical off days. And remember, if you don't get one of the top two spots, if you're not essentially the Dodgers and Mets, you're a wild card. You're playing, yeah, you win the you division, but you're card. still <laughs> playing three consecutive games. You know how the Cardinals like to use Helsley; they'll want to use him in Game One, and if there's a Game Three in that series. And then you don't have typical off days for a travel day in the DS and also the LCS. So this postseason, probably more than any other, because it's truncated based on the lockout, you're going to need five starters and every single reliever. I promise you, there's going to be games in the DS and the LCS where managers are going to have to throw relievers they don't love, yeah. but they have no one else. I get you. We got so like your don't, whole don't. pitching staff is going to be... Stress. That's why I think Good point. the emergence of Hicks is really important, right? I mean, if like we were just talking about who the guys you can depend on, you need swings and misses at the tail end of games in a playoff game, right? You hope you'd be able to put Hicks in some of those situations because his stuff is as good as anybody's. Well, we know one guy that knows what the Cardinals need to do, and that's Randy. Randy. Hi, Randy. Hey, how you guys doing there? Enjoying your show as usual. Hey, um, when you break down the Cardinals' uh, bullpen options, and uh, what's the other guy's name from Pittsburgh? Quantano or Quant Quantano Bay? Paul Quantano Bay. Paul Quantano Bay. Bay. Paul Quantro. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that guy there. Yeah, also him too. Yeah, what, what are they going to do with him? I mean, I don't see. Has he been pitching or is he on the injury list or what's going on? Or is he on joining uh, Pat Flattery on the you know deal list? Well, he pitched, the, he pitched you know, last night. 
Oh, he did pitch. Okay, he so knows he, that. What? what, what I don't know. His record. I mean, what, what is his record? Not. It's not as good as Montgomery's, right? What, I mean, what is he? 0-1-2 or something? What are you, an old school baseball fan that looks at win loss <laughs> records for pitchers? Is that what we're doing still? Yeah, I think so. I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, uh, wrap this up real quick. There. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, is Pat Flattery the Valor? Uh, he keeps saying of, Pat Flaherty. Of, of Flair, I mean, yeah, that guy too. Yeah, is he? Is he? Is he sort of like the Tarasenko of the of the Cardinals? You know, he doesn't trust the Cardinals' medical opinion. He wants to, you know, has he also said that he wants to be traded because he doesn't trust the Cardinals' uh, medical judgment? Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Randy's the best. He's just the best. I don't know how. Good he's, old Randy. Good old Randall. Um, what was Flaherty pissed about though? He, at the end there, when when Randy was asking um, about uh, what's his name again, Pat Flaherty. Pat Flaherty. <laughs> so didn't but didn't he do an interview where he was kind of pissed at the card? Oh yeah, he went to arbitration. That's right. That's yeah. what it was. That just. I mean, yeah, he's also questioned yeah. some of the medical guidance. Okay. I mean, I'm not saying that there hasn't been bumps in the road with Flaherty and how he views things. I'm just saying this guy's a really talented pitcher when he's healthy. The Cardinals will obviously be able to make good use of that talent. Yeah. And because you might disagree with someone politically. Well, they say. What, guys what does that matter? No, I know. I get it. I just like to be jokey poo, you know. But there's some people that don't like it, and I get that. I don't get it, but I, I see that they don't like it. But with Flaherty from the 314, it's not just the tweets and the activism. It's his mopey demeanor on the mound. The optics look bad. I kind of get that a little bit, I too. Agree. He does these mopey. But uh, we're talking about. When he came back from his injury and didn't have it on the mound, he looked like yeah. There's a couple. Like of when them. he's pitching well, he's got swag, right? He's got. A I, I don't remember. <clears throat> I don't really. Remember. That was a shot. It was a little bit. All right, a little bit. Of a shot. It has been a while. It's That's been a while. fair. I don't yeah. remember. I got a bad memory. Concussion. If you go back to the first half of last year, he was very good. Mm-hmm. Guys, worrying about the relievers is one of the things that makes it fun as rights holder. Is he used to scare me every time? And it turns out he's one of the Cardinals' greats, Bob the Woodworker. What's up, Bob? Jack Flaherty's a clown. Will never live up to the hype. I didn't say that. That was from the 573. You yeah, know. All right. He's had injury problems. To say, I don't think he'll ever pan out I, consistently. I, I, think that's, I understand yeah. that. But that has nothing to do with someone's politics. I agree. I agree. I'll tell you what, St. Louis fans, I'm... I'm disappointed. The same way you turned on. Remember last summer, everybody turned on Vladimir Tarasenko. What happens? Oh, he's never coming back. You're right, oh, Charlie. Oh, he'll be traded. You're right. There's no chance he comes back. Wow. All these fans with these jerseys of Tarasenko, he carried this team for six years, scoring 30-plus goals, seven, whatever it was. Right. Everybody Eight. turned on him. Oh, comes back, has the best year of his life. Oh, we love Tarasenko. Yeah, I know. You're going to do the same thing so when Jack doing. Flaherty's striking dudes out. Yep. In the playoffs yep. this year, there I promise. Go. Great the, point, Charlie. But the media does Charlie's the exact same right. thing. So that's why all media, they're just fans. Hold especially on. radio. But hold on. Cam. Yeah? Last summer, we had a million debates about this. And I said, everybody was taking Team Blues. Everybody was, oh, Tarasenko's the worst person ever. He wants to be traded, all that. And I said, look, I'm not blaming anyone, but you can understand if you have two surgeries in a row, as the athlete, you can understand three. Yeah. Right. And you're, you're missing two years. You can understand why the athlete isn't happy with that situation. And we would all think the exact same way if we were Vladimir Tarasenko. I know. And we agree with that. The only thing I, th- I said is, you know, it's just calling out. It's the way his, his agent handled it. He didn't handle it the right way. He had no leverage. They act like they did. Da, 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 da. It all works out. And now he's a uh, contract contract year. He wants to get paid out. He's probably going to put up a 40 spot. And you keep him, and then you got seven and a half off the books. You know? You know, it's a lot like the tools to do the job. The health of these players is like a tool for them to perform at their highest level. Yep. You were going to boycott the station last week because of the mics not going I in proper know. position. So it's the same thing to me. I know. You care about your craft. Fans might say, a mic's a mic. Come on, Cam. Come on, Cam. But you understand, you can't be your best on the air there it is. without the mic in the proper position. That's how players' I bodies know. are. All I these knew. commenters, all my YouTube commenters, the second he has a big strikeout in the wild card series, they're going to be standing. And Charlie, you're right. It's going to be like a seal. You're right. It's going to be like a, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, you're right. Uh, we we love you. Clapping for him. Well, the same ones were, were cheering for Matt Carpenter when he was here were the same ones that wanted to 
find him and, and stab him with a pitchfork. So stop being a hater. Hater. Cray Cray chimes in and go, Cray Langford. Flaherty's going to be, <laughs> is going to sim the NLCS MVP the day Brittany Griner is released, and the best fans in baseball's heads are going to explode. He's going to win. Man, I said The NLCS sim. MVP? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's right. How come Randy goes by Randy on your show, but he goes by John when he calls in a tuna show? Steve Fletcher, the winner. He has different, different personas on every but show. Does he act like the he same? Has, yeah, same <laughs> demeanor the same and everything. Dude. But it's John? It's yeah. funny, though. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievably hilarious. Like It's it's hilarious. Uh, Lebanon Bandit just keeps throwing this. He just keeps doing this. He just keeps doing it to you. Sir What's he Daniel. doing? He's sending pictures of you-know-who, the one dude. Hey, by know, the way, why is he obsessed with him? Go ahead. Uh, by the way, I just had somebody uh, text me about the Cardinals' new pitchers. Think about this: Quintana, three starts, two point six five ERA. The Cardinals are three and zero in games he starts. Montgomery, two starts, hasn't allowed a run in eleven innings as a Cardinal, and the Cardinals are two and zero in games he starts. And uh, I mean, Mo's a genius. Five games, <laughs> five and zero. There's yeah. five direct wins. Yep. Courtesy of those, new and I arms. think Good after job. the trade deadline, I was the one that said we are going to get five direct wins in the short yeah, fall. You tweeted that. No, I'll be honest. When they got him, I was like, I, I, I think they did a good job filling the holes. I'm not sure exactly what they got because I wasn't that familiar with Montgomery. But give them credit; those guys have been really good.